Normally these videos say solo weekend diaries and then weekend with Hobo, but Buster's here as well because I get to keep both of them. So this is a solo weekend, single mom era kind of thing, but no, Cory and I are still married. He's just going to visit his grandparents and I'm keeping both kids. I've explained the background of these trips in a couple of videos, but my husband was raised by his grandparents. He'd like to visit them more often, but I work a lot of Saturdays at my center. I don't have a lot of free weekends. So last year we came up with the idea of him just going down when I had a busy weekend at the center so that way he could spend more time with them. Normally he takes Buster with them because they have a ton of property that Buster can run around on and have fun on. But like everywhere else in the United States, it is incredibly hot right now, 95 to 100 degrees, and I don't want, and I know it's hotter other places, but that is still pretty hot for a dog, and I don't want Buster outside that much in this type of weather, and if he's just cooped up in the house, it's not as fun for him. He, I know he'd rather be here with me. He's allowed on the couches here, things like that. So I was going to keep Buster, and Corey was going to come pick up Hobo after work, but then I said, you know what? Like, she doesn't really care if she goes out of town. She's a cat. Like, she's happy to go out of town which I know not all cats are she's fine to travel but she's also fine to stay I said why don't you just go straight from work and see if you can get down there faster he loved that idea so when he left this morning he took his suitcase with him he's gonna leave right after work and I've got the two kids so our plan is actually a lot of fun stuff because my center is only open until noon on Saturdays in the summer so I do have to work tomorrow but instead of working my usual 8 to 4 I'm gonna work 8 to noon which is so exciting I'm getting ready to go to work now. It's Friday. I'm going to pick up chilies on the way home. I'm going to uh, watch a Hallmark movie tonight with the kids. And then we're going to get back to reading The Paradise Problem. I really liked this book. I just paused this during my 4th of July vlog because I had a quick read that I had to read that's in that vlog. But I really want to get back to this. This is the main focus of this weekend. So I'm going to read this tonight. Um, on my Kindle, I'm reading a book that's part of a series. So I will talk about it, but it's going to be in a different vlog. I won't talk about the book in this vlog but you will see me read my kindle a little bit and then tomorrow i think i'm going to do a ton of time in the pool i'm going to watch another hallmark movie make one of my favorite dinners we're going to tie up some diamond art projects i want to do some coloring i'm really into my video game i just want to do so many fun things this weekend my last solo weekend i was in a bad bent to health space ironically i got really sick earlier this week with a stomach bug but i'm feeling so much better and i feel like because i feel just better i can like eat again it's making me so excited to do the things i couldn't do over the past three days so i think we're gonna have a ton of fun together we're gonna pick up crumble cookies and do a taste test tomorrow just lots of fun stuff to come but i gotta get to work so next time you see me i'll be at home with my quesadilla and my queso and my margarita getting ready for movie night I'm home from work and ready to kick off this solo weekend. And honestly, after a pretty tough week, I had a fantastic Friday. It was the energy I needed coming into a solo weekend. My last solo weekend didn't go as well. And I'm already happy with one of the things I switched back. So ironically, my last solo weekend, I just edited and posted this week. So I it's like strong in my memory, even though I filmed it about six weeks ago. But that time I decided to make dinner on Friday night and then I got carry out on Saturday. That's not the vibe. I've done a couple of these weekends now and I have figured out what I like, so why I tried to veer from it, I don't know. I much prefer getting takeout on Friday night when I work until six, I don't get home. And I, when I get home, I have to walk bus to take care of Hobo. It's now gonna be like 7.15 when I'm sitting down to eat. I would much rather just have the food ready and then tomorrow when I'm off work way earlier and I have way more time in the kitchen, I'd rather cook. So I flipped back to that and I'm already so much happier. Chicken bacon ranch quesadilla from Chili's. I upload, upgraded to the triple dipper, so salsa, skillet queso, and white queso. We're going to put on a Hallmark movie and just enjoy. I'm trying to get myself to stay up a little bit later on Friday nights, especially because Saturdays aren't as hard this summer, and I want to savor more of my weekend. So I think after my Hallmark movie, I'm going to make myself... So when I finish dinner, I'm going to work on a diamond art project. And then when my movie goes off at 9, I'm going to make myself watch BookTube and play the Switch for about an hour and then not get in bed until 10 with my book and try not turn my lights out until 11 
and hopefully I'll sleep in tomorrow because I've been waking up at 5 on Saturdays. I don't need to be at work until 9. My work is like 20 minutes away. It, like, girl, sleep in when you can. So that's what we're going to try and do. That's the tone we're setting for the night. So let's get the kids fed. Their water needs to be filled. I just noticed that. Get a homework movie on and get the night going. I'm gonna make a quick margarita before I go upstairs to read. I wanna show you what I'm using. So I have this pineapple jalapeno tequila. And then I don't know what this is from, but it, this is a mix of orange juice, lemon juice, lime juice. I think I did use it maybe to make a margarita. This is a leftover juice that I have. And then I have jalapeno limeade. I, that, I don't find this very spicy, so I think this will be fine, but we'll ice it down a ton and see if I like it. And I'll talk to you about what I did while I make the margarita. I'm not gonna shake it or anything. This is super simple, super quick. Yeah, I probably should put a little bit of simple syrup in it. After I said simple three times, I was like, oh, simple, simple syrup would be nice. Okay, so I watched You're Baking Me Crazy. This is one of my favorite Hallmark movies. So I started watching Hallmark movies at Christmas, and I, at that point, genuinely thought that they only did Christmas movies, or like that's what they were good at. And I figured like some Valentine's Day movies, and I remember spring rolling around, and they had like, they always have like cutesy things. And it was like spring into love or like passport to love or something. This was the first one I saw that had nothing to do with the holiday, just a season. And it was so good. And that's when I realized Hallmark was like a year round movie thing. And that's just stuck with me ever since. I usually watch it every spring. But with us going to Hawaii and we took our anniversary trip, I just never got around to having my normal Hallmark spring movie night. So it was nice to watch it tonight. And then I wanted to show you, I finished my little 4th of July diamond art so this one i do have chains that's why it's got holes on it so i'm gonna hang it on the wall i've got two more in the pack we are gonna start another one this weekend but i put a story up on instagram so people could pick which of the next two in the pack i'm gonna do and i didn't want to finish doing diamond art so i put out this one which you guys will recognize from an earlier solo weekend vlog i am still working on it i don't think i love this one just because it's so dark and neutral it's just not nearly as satisfying as this one but i would like to get it done it is hobo so we're gonna keep working on these two and then i played this switch for a little bit so i just oh i didn't add any simple syrup to this hold on at this end i'm doing pretty good it's 10 30 so i'm actually a little bit later than i wanted to be which is a great problem to have um because that means i'm actually going to stay up a little bit later which means i will hopefully sleep in a little bit later which was the goal so let's try this not too spicy at all you can definitely taste jalapeno but not spicy it's like the actual taste of jalapeno um not my favorite margarita but hey i had the stuff on hand and it worked so let's go upstairs See if Hubble will snuggle with us and read The Paradise Problem.
I had a really good day at the center. It is such a nice contrast from the spring. It's a lot calmer, plus we close at noon, which is so nice because I ran an hour worth of errands. I'm still home at 1.30 and I get most of the afternoon to myself. We used to close at three, which means I wouldn't get home with running errands until five, so I love that I have this extra time. I went to Walmart to get some stuff for dinner, plus just stocking up on a couple things. I went to Crumble Cookie. Yes, we'll try those later. I did some returns at the UPS store, and that just feels good to do returns that have been sitting in your car. And then I went to Walgreens and I picked up a prescription and I got some fun self-care stuff as well. I was hoping that a book would come in at the library where I live. You can have library cards to like the six different counties around us. So it's in the county that's next to me and I happen to be over there because that's where the crumble cookie is. My book shipped Thursday morning and Saturday afternoon. It's still not there, which is frustrating because my county's a little bit faster, but be grateful for what you have, Nicole. At least I can access this book through the other library. So I wasn't able to do that part, but it was still a really success successful hour. I am getting a little bit hungry. I want to read my Christina Lauren book. I want to get in the pool. But last night, I started to feel a little overwhelmed in my house. It's just a little too messy, a little bit too much going on. So I think it's going to make me feel better if I set a 25-minute timer, try and beat the timer, and get downstairs as clean as it can be. So I'm not talking about my other books I'm reading in this vlog. I'm really just focusing on, focusing on the paradise problem. I'm talking fast, and that's why my words keep slipping. I apologize for that. But I will tell you what I am listening to. I am doing a vlog for this series as well. This is the Kate Wise Mystery Series. It's an audio vlog I'm doing throughout the summer. I am on book two, If She Saw, so I'm gonna hit play on that, set my timer, and get my downstairs as clean as I can in 25 minutes. I highly recommend playing Beat the Timer because I set a 25 minute timer and I only used 21 minutes and then my downstairs was completely clean. I didn't show you guys before, but things were just really cluttered. Ton of stuff on my counter, ton of stuff on my kitchen table. I was doing diamond art last night, so I had like the film that covers the diamond art and little gems all over my coffee table. My blankets and pillows were a mess bookmarks everywhere it was just chaotic so I took a ton of stuff out to recycling threw away trash everything is clean and organized now downstairs feels so much better and then I got the tomatoes marinating for my dinner so I just put up a ton of grape tomatoes grated garlic over them olive oil salt and pepper and they're marinating in the fridge then I went in the garage and I ate my lunch which was leftovers from last night and read the paradise problem I'm now gonna get in the pool perfect timing because it's an excessive heat warning so what better way to get through that than hanging out in my pool and I'm gonna make myself a mocktail I got tongue tied there let's try it again so people will do about six to eight ounces of pineapple juice then they'll take one sonic ocean water packet pour it in there and then fill the rest of their tumbler with water my Walmart did not have the ocean water and I did not feel like going to a bunch of places so I got this Skittles instead. Their blue one is a pineapple passion fruit and I figured that would work totally fine. So I'm going to make my mocktail right now. I'm going to pour, I don't know how much, maybe six ounces of this pineapple juice. I'm only going to do about half of the packet of the blue pineapple passion fruit and then I'm going to fill it up with a lemon sparkling water. I did pull a Sprite or this is a Aldi's brand if I need more liquid but we'll just see how as it goes and while I do this I want to tell you about the paradise problem I'm really really liking this book I like most of Christina Lawrence books so it's not a surprise at all that I like this one and it is just such a fun premise so in this book we have I want to double check the names yes Anna and Liam so Anna and Liam were married and the reason that they got married was so they could join affordable dwelling it when they were at UCLA and it was housing that was only for married couples Anna was actually struggling for money. Liam comes from a lot of money, but was cut off by his father, so he didn't have access to any of his family's money, and he was struggling to make it on his own. Jake is Liam's younger brother, and he, I believe it's Jake, we'll just say it's Jake, 
it's uh, Liam's younger brother and friends with Han Anna. So when Anna was like, gosh, I can't afford housing, he's like, I have an idea. Why don't you just like fake marry my brother? You guys can have this housing and then get divorced when you guys graduate, no big deal. And she was like, yeah, I need a cheap place to live. And her brother, or the brother was like, sure. So he drew up all of the divorce paperwork. Anna never signed it. Anna's a little bit more of a free spirit artist perhaps a little bit of a ditzy girl. She's not great with paperwork and Liam never checked up. So when he finds out a couple of years later, he's still married. He's like, oh my God, until he realizes it comes to an advantage. So I said that he had a falling out with his family. He's from a family whose grandfather started a grocery business and his family's now insanely rich. And he doesn't want to work for the family, which is part of why he's on the outs. He's actually a professor now, but he is still a family member and he's set to re receive an inheritance of a hundred million dollars but due to an antiquated clause in his grandfather's will you have to be married for five years to access the money turns out he's been married for four and a half years because anna never signed the divorce paperwork the only problem is his family doesn't believe she's real because they've never met her outside of his brother and his youngest sister happens to be getting married in singapore on a island off the outskirts of singapore and so he convinces anna to come to singapore to be his wife so they can make it until their five-year anniversary he can get the inheritance he's going to give her a ton of money as well and that way they can both benefit from this thing that they did five years ago. Anna, who is still seriously struggling, paying for her father's medical bills, a struggling artist, sees her opportunity and goes for it. The problem is he said that she's a doctor. She's not. He has built this whole life for her, thinking that they would never meet his wife. And she's now here and that's not her at all. She's not used to being on a lot of money. She's not used to really rich people. She's not used to the finer things. She's not very refined she curses a lot she makes a lot of crude jokes she just isn't fitting really what they expected but liam is kind of falling for her obviously because it's a romance book it's just such a fun concept and it's like i don't know you're like reading about the insanely rich people but you're reading from it from the perspective of someone just like me or maybe like struggling more than me for sure it's just, I really, I'm enjoying it. I always enjoy Christina Lauren books. So let's give this little mocktail taste. I have a ton of room at the top. I Oh, I didn't use all of this water. Let's see if that helps. Yes, so I did end up doing, I think it was about six ounces of pineapple juice. I did the entire sparkling lemon water and an entire lemon lime soda with the Skittles. So it's, I mean, it's not like, it's not water, but it, you know, it's not alcohol and that was the goal. That's nice. That is really, really nice. That's fun. All right, I'm gonna put some ice in it, go get in the pool, read on my Kindle for a little bit, and then Hallmark movie outside. This is my little manicure basket that I made myself. So I keep all of my nail stuff up in my bedroom by my vanity, but I never paint my nails there. Sometimes I do it in the bath, in the pool, in the hot tub, during the winter. Sometimes I do it on the couch. Sometimes I do it on my chaise. And so all of my supplies will be in random places. Like my nail file will be in my office by my chaise, but then my top coat is downstairs in the living room and my nail polish remover is out here in the garage so I made a little cute pink basket that's going to store everything I bought a couple of new things today and then I took stuff I already had so I thought I could walk you guys through what's in my little nail basket in case you want to make one as well and then we're going to put on a Hallmark movie and do a manicure with all of my tools very excited it's the little things guys these solo weekends are all about the little things so the things that I already had that I put in here. This, I use the Olive and June brand. I absolutely love it. So this is their nail strengthener and their ridge filler. So I have both of those in there in the back. I also have a top coat in here. Today, 
<clears throat> when I went to Walgreens, I got the new nail prime. It's probably not new. I just have never seen it before. Their nail primer. So those are the four bottles I have in here. Then, if you know anything about Olive and June, one of the things they're known for is just like their manicure system. And they have this poppy. I'll show you how it works when I go to paint my nail. But I lost mine that I had. And it, I just I have no idea where it went. So I bought a new one that will live in here. So that goes in there. And then they have their nail polish remover pod I have in there as well. So that is the half of it. The other side, I already had one of their nail files, so I'll throw that in there. I also already had their cuticle remover, so that's in there as well as their cuticle serum. I don't do this nearly as often as I should. And then I did buy their cuticle pusher today. And then this is a cleanup paintbrush type thing that goes in the nail polish remover pot to clean up any mistakes. Way better than a Q-tip, so I bought that. The only thing that's not Olive and June brand is the buffer. I wanted to get the Olive and June one, but they were sold out and I needed a new one. So this is just a Walgreens one. So my idea is that everything is in this basket. No matter where I want to do my manicure, I can just grab it and move it to where it needs to go. And today we're going to do this color, which is Jam Please. My mom got me a bunch of Olive and June nail polish. She bought me two colors I'd asked for and then picked four. This is one of the ones she picked. I initially didn't like it. She did such a good job. It's actually such a fun, kind of like bright purple color for summer. So I'm gonna go upstairs. I need to get a different camera battery so I can keep talking to you guys. We're gonna put a Hallmark movie on. I barely drank any of that mocktail while I was reading. So we're gonna hydrate and paint my nails and get ready for a fun night. Probably moving inside after the movie, but we'll play it by ear. Let's go get a battery and get started. I apologize it's a little bit darker for you guys. I went ahead and closed the garage door because I'm using a projector. If you don't know the way we watch movies in our garage, we just have like a projector. It's maybe like $100. I don't actually know. It's in my Amazon storefront, which is down in the description. But we just have it sitting on my husband's workbench over here. And it displays right onto our white garage wall. And it basically becomes our TV or our movie theater. I absolutely love it. But sometimes with the sun, it can make it hard to see. I'm doing Stranded in Paradise, which is going to be out on the beach. So I expect the video to be a lot of like tan sand and blue water. And I've just learned that with those like lighter colors, it can be hard with the sun. So closing the garage door will just make the picture so much more vivid. A little tip if you're trying to use a projector in the same type of style. So I just want to talk you through this really fast and then we can get our movie going. I've already added two more things since I was talking about. I'm always missing stuff. These are my Olive and June dry drops. I don't use these very often. This is more if I'm trying to like quickly touch up my manicure before I head out the door. These do dry it fast, but I prefer to do a slow natural dry. And then nail clippers. These are not my cute pink ones. Don't know where those are. That's why I need the baskets. So I just grabbed a pair of silver ones. We're gonna paint my nails. And then I wanted to show you how the poppy works. So I think I'm gonna skip both nail treatments today, the nail strengthener and the ridge filler. And I'm just gonna go straight in with the primer. So the way Olive and June works is, this is a brand new bottle, so it might take me a moment to, no, it won't. You just pull it right off. See, I haven't used one in a while, so I forget. So Olive and June, you just pull the cap off and this is what their underside of their cap looks like. This is the poppy. And so this is kind of like a rectangle shape and you'll see it's a circle, but there is a rectangular cutout within that. You just push the poppy up in there and then wiggle it back and forth until it's completely flush. And there you go. What's really nice about this is it helps keep your hand super steady when you're painting, which I find really helpful, especially when I'm using my left hand to paint my right nails because I am right-handed. So it's been a very helpful tool. I've been missing it for a year. I'm excited to have it again. So again, we're watching Stranded in Paradise. I'm gonna be doing this nail primer, let it dry for about eight minutes. Then I'm gonna try and do three really thin coats of that jam, please, electric purple. Then we'll top it off with the nail topper top coat but before we do any of that i'm going to clip file do all of that so i'm going to try the chat whoa i talked too fast i'm going to try and take the entire two hours of the movie really take my time getting my nails done get a really pretty manicure for the new week let's turn on the movie get to sip in the mocktail and have ourselves a little fun afternoon also can you see now i turned off the overhead lights so we just have our lights it's such a vibe in here. That's also why I like closing the garage door for movie night because it's just such a vibe. Okay.
back to the movie. This is one of the best manicures I've given myself in months. So I've been using the nail strengthener and the ridge filler on a regular basis, but I haven't been filing or buffering my nails. I haven't been doing anything with cuticles. That primer was new. And overall, my nails just already feel so much better. So I'm really excited that I now have a basket that makes it so easy to have everything all together every time I want to give myself a manicure, which is roughly two times a week, because I love painting my nails. So, my movie was also really good. I don't think I'd seen it before. It was Stranded in Paradise, and I really enjoyed it. And it is now 9 o'clock. It is way later than I meant for it to be. But hey, shout out to all of you who have dogs on your own. I got a dog with my husband at the time he was my fiancé. Sorry, that was a brain glitch there. But I've never had to have a dog on my own. And having to get out of the pool, taking him for a walk, then wanting to relax for a little bit, cooking dinner, cleaning up the kitchen, all of that, it, it's a lot of work. So shout out to all of you who are doing it by yourself. It's my solo weekend, and I can feel your pain a little bit. But we're settling down for our second movie. This is Two Scoops of Italy. I saved this one for inside the house, not in the pool, because I knew I was going to have wine. And it just, I love to drink wine when I'm watching movies that take place in Paris or Italy or really Mediterranean, anything like that. So this is the Sea Glass Savion Blanc. It's one of my favorite grocery store Sav Blancs. And then this is one of my favorite meals. It's just ciabatta bread. I oiled it, put a ton of garlic on it, and toasted it. And then this is the tomatoes that we left marinating earlier today and toasted mozzarella with pesto underneath. I prefer to make my own pesto. I had a sample that I tried. I did squeeze lemon juice all over it because I think pesto tastes better with lemon. I didn't taste any lemon in it. So it's layer of pesto with a squeeze of lemon juice, tomatoes on one side, mozzarella on the other, and then fresh basil and balsamic glaze. Corey doesn't like pesto, otherwise he would like this meal, but since he doesn't like pesto, I'm taking advantage. Tons of garlic too. I made two sandwiches because one is never enough. Let's dive into our movie. When I finish dinner, I'm going to work on another diamond art project. We're going to try crumble cookies. I want to read the Christina Lauren book tonight. It is 9 o'clock, but the night is still young. I would like to stay up past midnight. I don't often do that, but because I have a good plan, I do better when I have a plan. Because I have a good plan of the activities I want to be doing. Staying up past midnight on TikTok, awful. Staying up past midnight because I'm watching a Hallmark movie, doing diamond art, and then reading, totally good. So that's our goal, but let's get to eating because it's going to get cold and it's so good and I can't wait anymore. I really liked Two Scoops of Italy as well, and having two Hallmark movies be great back to back is just like the perfect Saturday Night Alone vibe. And because I took time to clean the living room before I got in the pool, I don't have much to clean now. I did do the craft, and I've already put everything back, and I cleaned the kitchen as I cooked dinner, so normally at this point in the night, I'm like frantically cleaning, or I'm like shoving it off to Sunday morning. I don't have to do either, because it's already done. So we are going to try some of the crumble cookies that I got, and read the Paradise problem. I won't get my review until tomorrow morning. I'll probably try them a couple times, because why not? But I got six this time. I normally just get four if I get even that many. But I was really interested in multiple flavors. The Rocky Road, the peanut butter chocolate chip. I think this is a maybe a cake batter and a strawberry one. And I knew that Corey would like the caramel cheesecake. 
So I have this crumble cookie cutter, but what I'm wondering if I could do is if I could cut it into eighths instead of fourths so I could have tiny wedges so that way I could try all six and not eat too much cookie. So that I'm very particular about my cuts and the chocolate chip cookie is the one that I just kind of threw in there because um, I was getting a box so I don't mind if this one gets messed up. So let's see. Oh, that works perfectly. Yes, that works perfectly. All right, I'm gonna cut all my cookies, get one little wedge of each one on a tray. We're gonna read on the couch, finish my wine, and what a nice way to close out a Saturday night alone. I have, I'm have. i probably feeling more relaxed than I have in any of these vlogs, which means my getting alone skills is better and better. No, that does not mean that. I don't want to be with Corey. He is my absolute love of my life and my best friend. I just want him to be able to go see his grandparents and not feel like he has to stay with me because I can't be alone. So the fact that he's having a wonderful weekend with his grandparents and I was able to have a great day at work and on a really nice night at home, that's a really good balance for our marriage. So yay for both of us. Let's cut the cookies and get to reading. Our weekend alone vlog abruptly cut off Saturday night, so I thought I could update you guys on the part that you missed while I'm doing my makeup. It's Monday morning, and yesterday I meant to bring you guys along, and I honestly just forgot in the morning. I ended up doing a lot of cleaning and organizing around my house, cleaning out my fridge, doing a Sunday reset, and then I don't think I've mentioned this. The company that I work for, we have a center and we are moving because Amazon bought the building that we're currently in. So we're moving to a building that's like half a mile away from the one that we're currently in. And we're starting to move things over. Corey and I do have a pickup truck. So on Sunday afternoon, my boss asked if I could bring the pickup truck over, help her pick up some furniture and move it. So I met her at the house with her and her husband, loaded everything into the truck, and I drove it over to our center. By that point, Corey had gotten home. So he just met us there and helped us move. And then we ended up doing dinner with them, a little bit unexpected. And I just never had a chance to get back on the camera and chat with you guys. But I am absolutely loving Paradise Problem. I think it might be my favorite book of the month. It is so well done. I still have about 75 pages left. So I think I'm going to try and finish it tonight and tomorrow morning and give you guys a full review and close it out. But I didn't get to do a ton of reading last night and I'm really looking forward to having more time to read today. So that's your quick update. I will see you guys when we're finishing the book. I finished The Paradise Problem, and unless something completely knocks my socks off in the last 10 days of July, this is going to be my favorite book of the month. It was so well done. So I was talking about this with my friend. We recently read Cruel Summer Together by Morgan Elizabeth, which is another really good book. I did vlog that. I'll link that below. And that one, it was a girl that was like in a world full of money. But that one was more of a just like funny haha -ha revenge story. This one actually discussed some of the difficulties that people with that much money have relating to the common person and on the flip side how hard it is to be a person living just above the poverty line and dealing with being in that world. For example, one might think like, oh, having no money and then being in a world full of money is amazing, but it actually makes her frustrated to see how much she is struggling, her friends are struggling, her father's struggling, and then to see these people just throw money away like it doesn't exist. 
And it definitely creates this amazing contrast between the couple because they're coming from different perspectives. Even though he is way more understanding than his family, I just think it created a really great conversation about extreme wealth in the United States while also capturing what it's like to fall in love and the honeymoon feeling. There's family tension in here and I could actually like picture the fights happening one thing I love about Christina Lauren books, they really transport you. Like, you are there. Something wilder took place, like, on a hiking trip, I think, in, like, Colorado or somewhere in that general region. I felt like I was there. This one, I felt like I was on the island. They just do a really great job at creating the atmosphere, the setting, the description of where they're at. They really create vivid descriptions of the characters as well. You can actually picture these people standing in front of you. And the dialogue reads so natural, so just amazing, absolutely amazing. I cannot say enough about this book. If you want a romance book that definitely has spice, but you want good, good plot, especially if you like a little bit of family conflict, this is a choice for you. Absolutely amazing. 10 star read. Loved it, loved it, and hope you enjoyed reading it with me. This is the end of our solo weekend for July. I don't know if we'll do one in August. We'll definitely do one in September, and we'll keep these going for a long time. So I'll see you in the next solo vlog. And by the way, tons of vlogs coming out in the meantime. So I'll see you, I guess, just in the next one.